compact heat exchanger is a one or multi-stage recuperative counterflow plate type heat exchanger designed specifically to transfer heat between low pressure gas streams. The heating surface consists of shaped plates with the hot gas stream flowing on one side of the plate and the cold stream flowing on the other. Both streams flow opposite or in counterflow to each other. This arrangement is the most efficient form of heat transfer and eliminates the typical diagonal temperature profiles found in cross-flow exchangers. The undulations on the plate surfaces provide turbulence and increase the thermal efficiency of the surfaces. Because it is impractical to duct alternating hot and cold gas streams to each plate, the entry and exit of the stream is accomplished using 50% of the plate. After entering, the gases are spread out over the entire plate by internal turning vanes. The gas streams converge again at the opposite end of the plate and exit on the opposite side to their entry point. This crossover effect prevents the streams from bypassing a large amount of the surface. Individual plates are automatically welded together to form plate pairs. In addition to the standard plate, the Boxberg plate was specifically developed for dust-laden gases and uses an enlarged flue gas entry and exit. This provides a straight passageway through the plates. When combined with specially designed rake-type soot blowers, the compact heat exchanger operates without fouling or plugging. The plate pairs are stacked one on top of the other and are welded together to form plate packs. The easily handled plate packs are then assembled into modules. The module size can be varied to suit individual site requirements and transportation restrictions. As the exchangers become larger, it is simply a matter of adding more modules. This eliminates the problems associated with increased duties and upscaling of equipment. On high efficiency applications, or when a separate cold end section is required, a second stage can be added to the exchanger. Frequently, the materials used in this second stage provide increased corrosion protection. The hot gases are ducted to each plate via the inlet and outlet distribution hoods to minimize any maldistribution problems. In the example shown, the hot gas enters the large flanged opening and is ducted to one side of each plate. This duct runs the entire length of each plate row or street. The gases flow down through the plates and exit on the opposite side of the plate where they are collected by the lower distribution hood and ducted to the large flanged outlet. The cold gases enter the lower distribution hood and are ducted to the opposite side of each plate. These gases travel upwards becoming heated along the way and exit out into the distribution hood on the opposite side of the plates to the hot gases. This ducting arrangement repeats for every plate row until the complete exchanger is covered. While the plates are located in the vertical position, the openings on the distribution hood can be arranged vertically, horizontally, or in combination, which creates numerous alternative arrangements. Now that the heat exchanger is completed, let's take a tour around it.